Kyle, the new event Fallen Leaves of Westville will be available to owners of the new Gold Road chapter. The dates for it are known yet, but as soon as they become known, I will add them to the description and title of the video. The only thing we know is that the event will take place at the late September. All materials are taken from the test server. In the video I'll go over main topics. This is the event quest, how to get alien remnants, boxes and tickets, and also visit the merchants. Let's get started. To begin the event daily quest, travel to Skingard in the West Wheel and meet with Gandrinar at the Impresario stand. I'm much too busy to talk right now. Oh, bah, forget it. It would write faster by itself at this point. Apologies. Too much depends on this book's completion. My relationship with my publisher, my peers, even the Donway. The Aliads and their connection to the Daedra. I believe there's more to it than the Donway teaches us. Part of my research involves studying alien remnants, but they're scattered across West Weald and I'm scraping for time. Can you help? Idols, curios, whatever looks alien. I'm not the most nimble of wood elves, but you could be fast enough to find and bundle the remnants for me to finish my book. Five are all I ask to start with, and I have a lot of gold to spare. The rot myths on me once were published. Those remnants might have ended up in forgotten chests or monster remains. I wouldn't even be surprised if you had to resort to thievery. But imprisonment might only tighten our schedule, so be careful. Uh, me? Oh, I'm only a wood elf who preferred a quill to an arrow. I was never as nimble as most of the others. Certainly could never be a jacks, but I think I nearly took out someone's eye once. Mostly strolling, while others slept branch to branch. But I believe that's where the seed was planted. I spent a lot of time observing the green, pondering about it in the world outside. I wanted to know more. I did, but something always felt missing. I had written untold stories about other cultures and yet knew little about my own roots. I thought the Donway would give me answers, but... I was only left with more questions. Of course, some are aware of the loose connection between the Aliads and the Daedra, but books like Daedra Worship never seem to cite any physical evidence. We'll go to the source of it. Exactly. For now, most of what I've written is about Aliad history and references to their worship of the Daedra. All I have left are the remnant chapters. We'll study each remnant like reading tea leaves except it's about the past. Inscriptions, toils, lost to time. Even a crack in a remnant can tell us so much about the alien hands that crafted it. If they were devoted to the Daedra, we'll find something. The principles of what the aliens founded are what led me to the Donway. Planting a tree, reaping what the green gave us. This is what it means to be a Donway follower. But I believe we've been misled. Many in the Donway tend to praise the Aliads, but the loose ties they had with the Daedra were kept hidden from us. I only found out after pursuing my book. Stung me like a prickly vine when I did too. Partly that, and for genuine curiosity about our ancestors. I once revered the Aliads. Now it almost feels like I knew nothing about them. I want answers. And I know others will too. He will ask you to get five alien relics. They can drop from any sources, but I will tell you more about this after the final conversation with Gandrina. When you have at least five alien relics in your inventory, use them. This will create as alien remnants bundle. And this is the final conversation with Gandrina. I'm thankful your timing is more punctual than mine, but I've nearly finished a chapter that covers the alien diaspora, which is probably how the remnants became so scattered. Tell me, have you found any yet? The sight of them alone lifts my spirits. Oh, the stories they must have to tell! You did well, friend. I'm willing to bet my lucky leaf that there are more remnants where those came from. But for now, leave me to my writing. 
Rest assured, you'll find yourself in my book's acknowledgements. Which reminds me, I need to get to writing. But do return tomorrow. I believe we've only just unearthed one of many secrets behind the Aliens and the Daedra. I haven't been able to give them the proper time yet. But thanks to you, I think we can afford to reap our fruits a little early and glance at them. Tell me, what's caught your eye? Hmm... This only confirms my suspicions. They're Daedric. Handcrafted by Aliens, most likely. The make reminds me of the lost alien worship idols that Donway keep in Vashabar. From my research, many aliens migrated from the Somerset Isles. These idols might have been made by them and were either lost or tossed away on their travels to avoid suspicion from strangers. I hope no one in the Donway secretly has these. No, never. To follow the Donway is to see the forest for the trees. Plucking a berry, harvesting fallen wood, not worshipping Daedra, at least from what I know. Some are aware of the ties our ancestors have to the Daedra, but ignore them. I used to believe they were lies, but we must accept it, and only follow the good practices the aliens showed to the Green. It's all we can do. Alien Trenants and Purple Boxes can drop from any source and they most often drop together. I got relics and boxes from chests, different types of enemies, safe boxes and harvest nodes in the West Wheel. If you have already collected 5 remnants, they will continue to drop for you and you can accumulate them for future daily event quests. Honestly, it's very convenient. The first West Wheel daily quest or Lucian Citadel trial weekly quest you complete per account per day awards you 2 event tickets and a gold quality box. Next, I'll show what you can find in the boxes. Additional bonuses will also be available, such as Gold Road Daily Quest have their normal reward boxes doubled, Harvest Nodes in the West will have improved yield, West Wheel World and Delve bosses, along with any boss in the Loot and Citadel trial, drop additional loot. The Impresario has bound versions of the 3 Sep Legion armor style pages for 5 tickets each, in addition to all 3 fragments of the Ankaborn Velva Morphin collectible mount for 10 tickets each. Next, I'll show the mount and the new style in more detail. You can find Intriquenta in Kraglor near Belkars. She'll sell two pets and fragments for mounts. And they are all Indrix.
There is also event merchant's assistant who sells fragments from previous events. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Wish you good game and see you soon, bye bye!